to tell you the truth, I'm not sure because it doesn't say hello, everyone. Um, this is Joe. I hope you're doing well. Happy Monday, everyone. Today we're going to be talking about... Um, yeah, I'm trying to go live everywhere. Yes, I am live everywhere. Um, we're going to be talking about if you're feeling like acting abroad. Um, so abroad, abroad, I don't know how to say it. So it's just going to be funky. Um, so you may have felt in the past that, you know, your country may not be appropriate for the acting industry. So you may have felt that it's better in another country, um, in another culture, that the industry may be bigger, that there'll be more opportunities, um, that it's going to be more open, there's going to be more projects, more work basically for you. They may be more open to different profiles like yours. Um, it's less stereotyped in the, than in your country. Uh, I know some countries, some very little countries in Europe, for example, have no agents. So if you're like in Switzerland, you may have that issue. And so you're thinking, well, I need to move um, to get to a place where acting can actually happen. But it's a scary move, right? It's changing your entire life. It's moving. It's changing culture. It's like getting rid of your apartment. And it's, it's a big leap. It's changing everything you know and moving into the unknown. So it's definitely something you might have been looping, wanting things to change, considering another country and then going, oh, but no, it's too scary. It's way too big of a, a leap. And who do I ask? Like, how do I, how do I actually take advice on this? Where do, who, who do I go to, to know what are the steps and how do I do this? And so the, the, the 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 part of the topic that I would like us to touch on today is um, is actually I would like for us to go prior to making the decision to make sure that the decision is coming from a place of truth and that it's clear for you because once it comes from a place of truth and that it's clear you're going to be able to make some you know very creative choices and be very resourceful. And if it's not really clear and it's if it's a half-assed decision, then uh, actually you'll you'll be in trouble. So I would like to be the devil's advocate in terms of if you're in a country, let's say you're in Switzerland, but it could be any country that you're in and you're thinking, yeah, there's better elsewhere. I should move somewhere else and things are going to be so much better for me. I would like you to be the devil's advocate for that. Today and age, you can be everywhere like i'm right here in la and you're probably in another country right so you can be present on different markets with technology with self-taping with zoom meetings to find an agent and you can be you know available in different countries if you have a place to sleep in different countries that's something that you can do so you would be able to stay in your country and um create a structure where you're able to work from the neighboring country if you're having a place to stay at a friend's place or an Airbnb that you could rent or a hotel that's cheap for you so that you can be considered local. They don't have to provide location for you, provide um, accommodation for you, sorry, but you're able to stay where you're at and not risk all of your personal life into moving, right? Because I want to make sure that you have considered the options of opening yourself to a bigger market from where you are, because that'll take less resources and it will actually already give you a feeling of the different markets. And is it true that the neighboring country is better than the one that you have? Is it really different or is that a perception or is that a story that you have about this country, but it's actually pretty much the same that could happen? So. First step, I would I would make sure that you have considered, let's say you're in Switzerland, you're like, ah, but I can't find an agent because there's no agents here. Okay, well, you can find an agent in Berlin that will represent you in Switzerland. You can go back between Switzerland and Berlin 
to go and take some meetings, to go and do some auditions. You can send some tapes. So that's possible. And you can do the same to France and you can do the same to the UK. So in our community, we have many actors that have international opportunities because little by little you go and you get representation and you get the teams that you need in the other countries and you have a place to stay when you have a job over there. So you're opening doors without having to change everything. Now, the other option is you're really an adventurous spirit and you want to move. It doesn't feel like, oh, I need to escape the situation I have in my country, but like I have one life and I, I want to move. Like, you know, who's to judge? I've lived in four different countries um, and I'm 50, so I've, I've moved around. And I believe that it's fun to, you know, there's one globe and there's one life and I want to see as much of it as I can in my time here. So it's not, in this case, it's not I am leaving my country. It's more I'm going towards something new. And there's a very different energy in between those two things. So that would be my main advice. If you want to move abroad, 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 if you want to move to another country, um, to act from another country. I would say make sure you're not trying to leave your country, but rather that you're going towards a new country. So the difference between those two is a very different energy. If I'm leaving this country, I am still having some enmeshment with how things are not working for me. I'm still having things that are not working that I'm going to take with me. If I'm really done with that country, then I'm moving towards, I'm going towards something new and I'm open to actually embrace the entire experience without taking my attachments to my old country there. So I hope that makes it clear the distinction between I want to act in a different country. If I'm still feeling like I'm escaping my country, I'm trying to leave that country, that's not the energy that will have you all aligned and clear to come to another country. However, once you can get to a place of, I'm not really wanting to leave that country, but I'm curious and open to go to another country. So I'm not leaving, I'm going towards something new. That's an energy that's adventurous, that's curious, that's explorative. And therefore, it's, um, it's filling you up with juices that will embrace all the challenges of a new life, all the challenges of a new um, opportunity and a new market. And, and definitely you can start that by starting to do it from your hometown because of the online world, you're able to be in different places at the same time. And then, you know, do it step by step in the ways that I have done it, um, changing countries and continents. Uh, you go a couple times and you first explore you know, the housing, if you have kids, the schools, the finances, the insurances, the agents, like really explore everything so that when you leave, you can have a strategy, you can have clarity over, all right, inside of this unknown that I'm walking into, here are the building blocks I am going to, I'm going to put in front of me in order to make it sustainable. So I hope this makes sense. I hope this gives you some clarity. If you need some more information, you can send us a DM. Um, if you have any questions, I guess I do have experience with moving and some people in my team also have been moving, doing this work. Um, so yeah, let us know if we can help. Let us know what countries you're interested in. Send us a DM or a comment and we will get in touch with you. All right. Thank you guys. Have a good week. Bye.